I know I'm repeating myself, but I keep getting questions about Scott's true alpha powers. Scott has no true alpha powers because true alpha is not a status. It only describes a method of achieving the regular alpha status. Let me repeat that. True alpha is a method. It is not a special status. In the Teen Wolf universe, most either inherit an alpha spark or steal it. But there's a third way to get one. It's rare. Something that doesn't happen within a hundred years, but every once in a while, a beta can become an alpha without having to steal or take that power. They call it a true alpha. It's one who rises purely on the strength of the character, by virtue, by sheer force of will. Scott's moral superiority was enough to push his little werewolf spark up to alpha level. It's that spark of power that makes you an alpha, that spark. It intensifies the color of your eyes from a bright yellow into a searing red. And in Scott's case, he made that extra bit of power all by himself. It is an unusual way to attain the status. Most people are just not that good, so it doesn't happen often. But Scott gets no special powers beyond being able to make more werewolves, a little bit more strength, and faster healing, which are things that all alphas claim. Now, one canonical caveat. Because Scott Spark is unusual and unique to him because he made it inside himself, it is not compatible with any other spark in the Teen Wolf universe. My theory is that all the Alpha Sparks were made by Zeus all at the same time when he transformed a single family of 50 into wolves way back in Arcadia. All werewolves in the world today are linked to that divine lightning, and all alpha werewolves in the world today, except Scott, got their little bit extra from that original Zeus spark. Scott's extra didn't come from Zeus. He made it himself. So his alphabets are not compatible with any of the other werewolves. A regular beta or omega werewolf could try to steal Scott's spark, but they wouldn't be able to keep it because it's simply not compatible with the spark they already have. It would not stick with the new host. The exception to that is that anyone Scott shared his spark with in the current universe, that's just Hayden and Liam, could take his alpha spark because they're the only ones fully compatible with it, because they were made from that specific spark. Okay, y'all, what follows is a spoiler for the Teen Wolf movie. It's from the trailer that was released at Comic-Con, so it's out there, but if you're avoiding spoilers, you have three seconds to ditch this video. Three, two, one. This tiny sliver of a scene and my analysis of it suggesting that it looks like Scott is taking someone's pain and that it reminded me of when Derek did this for Cora prompted a lot of people to ask if Scott could lose his alpha spark by transference like Derek did in the healing process. The answer is yes, he could. Will it happen? I don't know but it certainly could because the transference of energy does flow both ways, as Deucalion described back in Season 5. Feel that for you. That's the secret to taking power. Take their pain. Take their life. Take their power. It's all or nothing. You take till there's nothing more to give. That's where you find the spark of power. And then you take that as well. 